So I remember when I first was trying to choose my very first smartphone, and I was late to the game to finally switch to a smartphone, but everyone at the time was telling me to get an iPhone. And so I started doing some comparisons. I started looking at Android versus iOS, and I ultimately decided to go with Android due to the ability to get music much easier. I didn't like the idea of having to go through iTunes, but I also liked the ability to customize my phone much more freely. So I was then going between the Samsung Galaxy and the LG G2 at the time. I ended up going with the LG G2 because, well, it just looks so much better. If you remember, they removed the home button, so they were one of the first ones to pioneer that, and it just looked much sleeker. I absolutely loved that phone. Then I went to the Nexus 6P, and then I went back to LG with the V10 and the V20. Both were excellent phones. But unfortunately, LG started to get lost in the shuffle. They lost their grip. They started doing all of these experimental things. And unfortunately, I'm sad to report, as of today, they officially announced that they are shutting down the entire smartphone operations for good. So it's the end of an era for a one-time phone giant. The South Korean company said it's going to close its mobile business unit by the end of July 2021. And instead of smartphones, it's going to focus on smart home products, an area where it's one of the big providers, as well as electric vehicle components, robotics, artificial intelligence, and other connected devices. Even the upcoming rollable LG phone, which was an exciting and anticipated product, has been canceled. LG's decision to wind down its phone business reflects the struggles faced by many companies in the market. Apple and Samsung have long been the only companies that make significant amounts of money from smartphones, but even they had struggles at time. Consumers are holding onto their phones much longer than before, and they're also changing to different, less expensive models like the Galaxy A lineup. So what's going to happen to the current LG inventory? Well, LG said it's going to continue to sell the current phone inventory and will provide service and support and software updates for customers of existing mobile devices for a period of time which will vary by region. Now the company's US business said additional details on software updates will be provided in the near future. Now big carriers like AT&T and Verizon said they'll continue to support LG phone users. In fact, someone from AT&T said in a statement that the wireless provider is aware of LG's decision to exit the mobile business, adding that as a commitment to our customers, we'll continue to support those using LG devices on our network as LG makes this transition. And T-Mobile says that it plans to continue selling through its existing device inventory and will work closely with LG to determine the next steps. Now, LG likely will lay off some employees, though many probably will move to other parts of LG's businesses. It has employees across the globe and manufactures its phones in China, Brazil, and Vietnam. And the company is actually looking to repurpose those facilities to build other products like TVs, etc. So, what do you guys think about this news? Were you an LG phone fan? If so, what was your favorite LG phone? And what phone do you use today? Let us know in the comments. Comments. Guys, thanks so much for visiting, and don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Streaming Tech Now.